What's happening everybody and in this video I'm going to show you how you can add a voice to any of your real world AI or Python programs. So previously we created an AI real world program where we gave our program ingredients and it gave us a whole recipe from just simple ingredients. Now from that project we are going to add a voice to it. So if you'd like to see how to create a real world AI program just go check out my previous video and then head over to the script where we are going to take it to a whole new level by giving it a voice. But enough to wow. chat 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 guys, please wow. don't forget to like this video. If you're feeling friendly, pop me something in the comments, share this with your friends and family. And if you're enjoying this content from this baby pay 28 year old, <laughs> please don't forget to subscribe or follow. But enough to chat chat chat, as I said, let us get started. Now, for those of you who haven't seen the script run, let me show you. So if we run our script now in our terminal, you will see that we will be prompted to enter your ingredients for your recipe here. Separate your ingredients with a comma. So we can say that we have, I don't know, let's say we have mint, uh, onions, tomatoes, and I don't know, pasta, whatever. Okay, and then when we hit enter, our AI chef will come up with a whole dish for us. Let's see what it has. Yeah, so we have a spaghetti bolognese. So it gives us all of the ingredients which we need or what we've given it, how we must create it and all of that. So now let's take this to a whole nother level where it is going to, where our where program is going to ask us with a voice to enter our ingredients and then it is going to speak out the recipe. This is cool, especially for newbies which are learning to cook, that if you're in the kitchen, you can't really go onto your devices because your hands are wet and so forth, you could damage your devices. So it'll be great to hear the recipe and then you can cook and your hands are free. So guys, please don't forget to like this video. Otherwise, let's let us continue. Now we do need to download a new library called PYTTSX3. So in your terminal, I'm going to close the terminal which we had, which we are, where I just ran the program and let's start off fresh with a brand new terminal. So I can see here that my virtual environment is not activated. So to activate our virtual environment, because our project is isolated, you want to type the name of your virtual environment, forward slash scripts, forward slash activate. You will know that your virtual environment is activated when you can see it on the left hand side in inverted commas. Once you have that already, then we can start downloading the PYTTSX3 library by typing pip install PYTTSX3. This shouldn't take too long to download, but obviously depending on your internet connection will depend on how quick this will download and install. But once that is complete, we can now close our terminal and we can head back into our scripts. Now under our import google.generativeai as genai, we want to import our new library, so we'll be import PYTTSX3. Now we're going to create a new function for our script to actually speak. So just skip a few lines and let's create a new function. Let's actually call it speak. So we'll define speak, open our brackets, and in our speak, we want to give it the text so then it will speak the text from our AI as well. So we're going to define speak and we'll pass the text. Then our two little dotty keys. And in our function, what we need to do is that we need to initiate our PYTTSX3 library. So to do that, we're going to create a new variable called engine and we're will say equals to PYTTSX3 dot initiate INIT, open and close our brackets. Then we want to tell our engine to say all of the, st the text which it gets. So you simply type engine dot say, open our brackets and we pass the text through there. Once that is complete, according to the PYTTSX3 documentation as well, we need to tell our engine to run and wait. So you simply type engine dot run and wait open and close our brackets now wherever we define speak and we pass a text to that it will literally speak it so now under our return response dot text what we want to tell us to input our ingredients so to do that what you want to do is that we will put we'll type speak open our brackets double inverted commas and now whatever we type in here it will literally speak so let's say please enter your ingredients for your recipe separate your ingredients with a comma awesome so now it should speak that and then afterwards we also want it to speak the result so underneath print generated recipe we can also just put underneath there speak open our brackets and we're putting there generated underscore recipe awesome and that's literally it now let's see if our new ai well let's call it an ai chef has a voice let's run our script and check it out please enter your ingredients for your recipe separate your ingredients with a comma okay cool so now we can start typing uh, mince onions tomatoes 
And what else did we say that we had the last time? Pasta. Okay. And now let's press enter. Dish name, savory minced meat pasta. <laughs> Ingredients. There we go. One pound ground mince. Beef, oh. pork, or lamb. So now while it's cooked, us, we can go oil. into the fridge, grab what we said that we have. Chopped. You know, stop Two chopping, garlic, chop, 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 chop. Do One, whatever. How insane ounces, is this? Okay, let me stop tomatoes. it because now we're talking over One, each other. 15 ounces, canned Boom. So guys, if you enjoyed this as much as I did, please don't forget to like this video, pop me something friendly in the comments, share this with your friends and family, and don't forget to follow or subscribe as it motivates me like crazy. And there are many, many more real world AR Python uh, projects coming soon. Cheers guys, until the next video.